hello guys welcome to sub dynamics and this is anand here today i'll show you how to create this cool parallax effect using ns layout constraints you can see this this is what we're going to create today okay for that let's go and create a project uh, parallax parallax view and i am selecting a swift uh, i'm not selecting any core data unit test or anything Okay, let's go and add inside my download file. Yep, let's go to the main storyboard. I'm changing it to the iPhone XR. Okay, perfect. Reduce the zooming. Okay, here I am going to add a UI view. And I'm setting its constraint as zero to the top view, trailing space, leading space, and height as 122. Okay, I'll color it as yellow. Okay, cool. That's our top now, but this is what we're going to do the parallax. Okay, that's it. Then I will go and add a UI table view. Table view for this also, I'll add the constraint of uh, 0, 0, 0. Here I have to add a controller, then change its value to 0. Okay, done. And I will add a UI table view cell here. I'm gonna set its size to 61. Uh, let's zoom in for a little. Then add a UI level. UI level and set its uh, constraint to zero. No, set its constraint to two so that it will uh, adjust. There will be little space and set its alignment to center. Mm, this is fine. Uh, maybe custom it will come to helvetica new that is fine and color i will add it as some orange yeah perfect and i'll set the line as three okay inside the level set this value okay this looks good inside the table view i'll add reusable identifier table view cell okay perfect now i'll go and add data source and delegate for the table view to the view controller okay that also done okay now go and open the assistant editor mm, assistant editor also done and the view so this is a view top constraint i am going to add a reference for the view constraint top view top constraint okay perfect and i'm gonna add the extension for view controller extension view control this extension will be used for implementing the data source and delegate methods of the ui table so ui table view delegate comma ui table sorry ui table view data source okay that is implemented let's add the methods for them okay it's already telling that okay so i have to add i will return the number of cells as retain the number of cells as 20 or something and here i create a cell that cell table view dot tq reusable cell with identifier our identifier is the one we gave that table view so table view cell and index pass is index past so it will reuse that uh, uh, cell instead of recreating it all the time and return the cell return cell done now the basic structure of the app is ready let's run and see okay guys build this complete lab as we install okay you are able to see the app here you can see on the top that view itself is not moving 
and we have the scroll bar also I'll try to remove that for removing the scroll indicator I'll go to the table view and come back to the editor single editor and then go to the table view disable these two okay now let's go back to our view controller here we have to add the code for creating that parallax view for creating the parallax view we have to make use of that the scroll view did scroll method okay let's go and override that means scroll view did scroll here we have to add the code for creating that parallax effect when the table view scrolls up we have to move the top view up and when it is scrolls down we have to bring back the top view to its initial position okay let's add code for that uh, i'll be creating old content offset which i'll set to cg.0 that is the starting of this animation okay and let content offset i'm just checking the difference between the old uh, y value and the current scroll with y value so using that only using that we can check whether it's scrolling up or down and we can reduce the value to the content offset of the table view or scroll view as well as top constraint value so content offset equal to scroll view dot content offset dot to y minus old content offset dot y okay uh, first for scrolls up so scrolls up can be determined if scroll view dot content offset dot y is greater than zero and this content offset value is greater than zero then we will do our uh, uh, shifting the top view to top let's add the code for moving to the uh, top view if top view constraint dot constant is greater than minus 120 then only we will add that means i only want to shift that top view to the top till its height top view constraint minus con content offset and then scroll view dot content offset dot y minus content offset okay that is done next we have to add for scroll down that means expanding that view scroll view uh, so if scroll view dot content offset dot y is less than zero and content offset value is less than zero so here if the top view constraint dot constant value is less than zero then we will increase its uh, value and that means uh, it, from minus 120 it will go up that means it will go to the zero value and if uh, we don't want to go beyond zero value so if top constraint dot constant uh, minus content offset is greater than zero set the value to top constraint dot constant equal to zero else top constraint dot constant minus uh, content offset since it will be positive value it will increase scroll view dot content offset dot y minus content offset the constant value oh here i have made a mistake i didn't add the constant value okay done that is fine and now we have to keep a old content offset equal to scroll view dot content offset okay this should work let's go and see what is happening okay guys this is working fine i believe yes let's see here yeah you can see it's going up and it's going down yep so smooth so that's it guys i have pushed the code to the github you can find all the links in the description Hope you liked the video. Thank you.